Hello everybody. Welcome to Mrin Talks, my vlog where I take you through the steps of investing. This is vlog 7 on inaction. I hope you've been following my previous vlogs and tried to implement some of the things that I told you. I talked about money mindsets, about attitudes. And last week, I had spoken about the very important budgeting rule, which is the 30-30-40 rule. I, I do hope that you took some time to figure out whether you are following this route or not. And now we come to the most important question that even if you are saving 40% every month, then what are you doing with this? Is it just lying in your savings account or is it getting invested correctly? You'll be surprised to know that many people just leave money lying around in their savings account due to various reasons. One, of course, is sheer laziness. They don't find the time. They're not able to make the time. But I think it's also because of the fear, the fear of loss, the fear of failure, the fear of the unknown, the fear of having to navigate complex financial decisions uh, leads people to leave money in the account. One of the best examples I can give this is of mutual funds and NPS, where investors find it difficult to comprehend products, not sure which option to choose, and hence they just leave the money or they put it in some other investments, which will necessarily not give them very good returns. Well, all of us have fears. I mean, you may have the fear of investing. I have many other fears. You know, for example, I'm a person who just it's so bad where technology is concerned. It takes me a lot of time to basically understand how to use even basic technology sometimes. And I'm so averse to downloading apps and I'm so averse to doing everything online, you know. But similarly, but in order to do some essential things, I have conquered my fears and I have embraced technology to the extent that I'm able to understand it and to the able extent that I'm able to use it or need to use it. As far as money is concerned, you do need to do something about your knowledge levels as far as uh, man managing your money is concerned because that's the only way that you can go ahead in your money management journey. Did you know that by delaying your investing, you really are going to end up having to invest much larger amounts. A five-year delay in investing for retirement means that you have to invest double the amount of money. Now, think about it. Is this something that you want to do? Do you actually want to start investing? Do you actually want to start having to invest double the amount of money at the end of five years, I'm sure not. I'm sure that you can use this money in a much better way for many other reasons. So go ahead, do ensure that you make some time for financial decisions. If you find it difficult, start by one hour in a month. I can tell you, you really don't need more than that. But there is something else that you need to be doing. And that is that you need to be reading the right resources. Now, what are these resources that are available? Well, most newspapers have a personal finance column. You can look at ET Wealth, which comes on every Monday. You can also read the personal finance columns from the Mint newspaper as well. And of course, check out Money Control. I like these websites a lot to get information as far as topics around personal finance is concerned. Um, another website that I like a lot is Morningstar.in. So if you really don't know where to start and if you're still really worried about the way to go, I would suggest start by reading up, refer to these websites. Of course, we put out a whole lot of content on our YouTube and our social media pages that you can easily refer to. And what more, you can even write to us and ask us your queries as well, right? So go ahead Take charge, take action, and I'm going to be back next week talking to you about more. Till then, cheers.